To write the Lewis structure for MgSO4, that's magnesium sulfate, we first need to recognize that magnesium, that's a metal, and then S and O, those are nonmetals. So we have our metal, and then we have a group of nonmetals. It's called a polyatomic ion, and SO4 is the sulfate ion. When we have a metal and a group of nonmetals, that's an ionic compound. And in ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal or nonmetals. So we write Mg, and then we put the sulfate ion right next to it. So we said MgSO4 is an ionic compound. So we go to the periodic table and we see magnesium here, it's in group two. So it has two valence electrons and it'll transfer both of them to the SO4. Because electrons are negative, when it transfers those electrons, it loses two negative charges. That makes it a two plus. So we have this two plus here and this two minus. So we have positives and negatives and they're attracted and that's what makes it form the ionic bond. You'll also note that if you add these numbers up, it's zero because the total charge on magnesium sulfate is zero. It's a neutral compound. In drawing the Lewis structure for magnesium sulfate, we have these brackets around the sulfate. That's to show that the magnesium lost electrons to the sulfate and that they're not sharing those electrons like they would in a covalent bond. You should also understand that this is what is called a formula unit of MgSO4. MgSO4 is a crystal and it's made up of a repeating pattern of these formula units. This Lewis structure for MgSO4 is just one formula unit of that larger crystal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for MgSO4, magnesium sulfate. Thanks for watching.